What's up, everybody? I'm Matt with Beard Laws, and this video was highly requested because of a TikTok that I did on a duet about derma rollers. So a lot of people have many, many questions, and this is something that has been discussed, and many, many content creators, especially in the bearded community, have touched on this topic. And uh, I want to throw my two cents in here as well. And again, everything in this video is my opinion and stuff that I have found and um, some research that I've done myself. So I'd love to know your comments, know your thoughts as well. So I'm going to hit you guys with a quick intro and we're going to jump right into this. So before you do, though, if you could press that thumbs up button, it really means a lot to me. Subscribe to that channel. And if you want to know every time a video comes out, you can hit the bell. But again, I'm not the boss of you, so you don't have to do any of that. I just would appreciate it. All right, it's intro time. Let's go. What's up, everybody? You must really want to know if the Derma Roller works and if it's a great option for you and maybe some of your patches. So welcome back. All right, so the Derma Roller, what is it? Will it work? Could it work? Is it going to work? Is it the magical thing? Let's talk about it. So the Derma Roller came around in 1995 when a plastic surgeon invented it to be able to help with some scarring. So a derma roller is going to help with kind of the blood circulation. It's it's more of a skin thing. It's gonna be, you know, really good for the skin. And a lot of people, you know what I mean, with, um, you know, maybe some skin problems, some scars and some other things, this could help you, all right? It's not until kind of recently that people started using it and claiming that it is going to work for beard growth and beard patches with beards being amazing. Everybody wants one. Everybody wants a Zeus type beard or, uh, you know what I mean? Like, or the winner of the 2021 Beard Madness. They want a beard like that. Is it going to work? Well, let's continue to talk about it. The skin treatment and devices like this, they've been around for a long time. Even records of it in ancient Asia for, again, to promote healthy, you know, blood flow and, and, and healthy skin. And there is many scientific studies on the Derma Roller and the benefits that it can do and even confirm the skin. But is it going to work for beards and beard growth? Let's continue to talk about that. For anybody that knows me or has watched a couple of the videos, I do like to find if there's some scientific research on this because scientists, I mean, if something is backed by science, there's a pretty good chance that you should listen to it. There's a lot of very, very big brains that are paid in uh, funding to do the research on a topic. And there's very little scientific research on this matter. Is it because there's more important stuff? Maybe. Maybe is it just blatantly obvious? Maybe. But either way, there's not a lot of research. In the research that I was able to find, everything is, it may help. It could help. But there's nothing concrete that says, yes, this derma roller or this beard roller is going to help the patches. Everything that I've seen is the derma roller works with minoxidil, which is something that obviously myself has talked about. A lot of people in the bearded community, a lot of people right here on YouTube have talked about this. And that in itself has some research and it doesn't work for everybody. It does work for some people. And pairing with the minoxidil and the derma roller, scientists and research have proven when working together, when you're using minoxidil, the derma roller does help a little bit. But just using a derma roller, is it going to help your beard grow? Is it the magical tool? In my opinion, no. No, it's not going to. Is it going to be really good for your skin? Yeah, it could be good for your skin. But keep in mind, patience. We talk about it all the time. Probably already hinted in this video. But when you're using, say, minoxidil, and I do highly recommend you talk to your doctor before you do it because there are various, various side effects. I know some people have, you know, extended uh, ear hair growth, nose hair growth, um, you know what I mean? Just hair in unwanted places. So there are, um, you know, some side effects. We'll talk to your doctor before that. But if you are going to use it, science does show that there is a little bit of an improvement using the derma roller with that. All right. But a derma roller obviously is a bunch of little needles. So you do need to do your research on it if you are going to go that route, because you're probably going to get some skin irritation, maybe some acne, potentially bleeding, depending on what it is. So make sure you do your research if you want to go that route. But in my opinion, there's other things that you can do to promote healthy beard growth. There are patches for a reason. Sometimes your face just doesn't grow hair there. And, and I haven't found anything magical that you can put on your beard or use on your beard or your face in the area 
that it doesn't grow hair, that's just going to automatically start growing it. Keep in mind, around 25, 26 is when you're going to kind of see what you can do in your beard. So if you are younger and you have patchy spots, it's normal. If you're a little bit older, it's okay too. I have patchy spots. You just don't see it because I grow the hair around it, over it to cover that. All right. And if I was to move my beard around, you will still see the spots that I don't grow hair. It's just a spot that doesn't grow hair. If you're looking for some solutions on how to grow your best beard, talked about it in a couple of videos already, but you need to be healthy. You need to stay hydrated. You need to exercise. You need to eat properly. Uh, if you are a smoker, don't smoke. All of these things that are not only going to make your body better, they are actually proven to grow your beard and your hair so much better. And then your routine, your products, patients' products. We talk about it all the time. Myself, the bearded community. Not only that, you have to keep the skin underneath moist with beard oils. You need your beard bombs, you need your beard shampoos, your beard conditioners. And if you have any questions on that, go check out some of the other videos that I do or some of the other videos that all the amazing people um, in the bearded community do as well. They're going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. But again, just to kind of recap, the derma roller, the beard derma roller, it's not going to be your magical solution, all right? There's a lot of other products that um, have biotin in it. All right, that uh, that are known to help grow um, and help with beard growth. But at the end of the day, being healthier is one of the most guaranteed way to do that. And again, training the hair to go over those patches is one thing. And sometimes, you know, the beard life might not be for you, but maybe you rock a goatee. Maybe you can rock a mustache. Maybe you can rock chops or the whaler, which is the beard without the mustache. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Rock what you can and make it the best beard or the best facial hair that you can because a lot of people don't know even if you rock a glorious goatee or a gr uh, glorious chops or a glorious mustache those are all categories in beard contests all right and there's nothing wrong with being unique being you that's what i pride myself in i like being weird i like being unique grow what you can and do it the best with the best products and the proper routines but most of all be patient I cannot reiterate that enough. Patience is the key to great beard growth. One last thing that I want to hint at is when I talked about health, when I talked about eating better, you know what I mean, exercising, all that stuff, there's a couple of foods that you can actually eat that are, you know, have a little bit more natural products in them that is going to help with your beard growth as well. That includes egg yolks, almonds, or kind of like any nuts in general, cauliflower, cheese, sweet potatoes, and spinach. And I'm going to segue this into another video upcoming. That's why I saved a little bit of that for last. So there's something for you to kind of look forward to. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you want, and then you know that, you know, this isn't your first YouTube video. You get what to do that uh, if you would like to. But let me know in the comments if you have any follow-up questions or concerns or just any comments on the Derma Roller, and uh, I would be, I would be uh, glad to answer all of them. Again, this is just in my opinion. Do I think the Derma Roller is the magical tool that's going to make your beard grow? No. Does science find anything that, uh, that disagrees with my opinion? No, the bearded community as well. It's been covered. It's a topic that a lot of people don't overly go into because we feel, I mean, a lot of us, yes, we grow beards. We've been around the beard game for a while. And it's just something that, in our opinion, isn't going to help. Everything else that we do for pointers on trimming and routines and products, that is going to help you so much more than some of these products. And like I said, these are very well marketed and they do have their benefits, but sometimes do your own research before you just jump in and say, you know what, this person did a video and within a couple of months, their beard looks so much better because they use this product. It might have worked for them, but it's not going to work for everybody. And that's one thing. Do your research. Ask me any question anytime in any of these videos. I will go out of my way and make sure to help you answer them. And uh, like I said, Hit up anybody else in the bearded community, do your research, and uh, like I said, we are here to help you. The bearded community is one of the greatest communities in the world. We truly are here to help you and anybody that has any questions, so let us know. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stay safe. Stay bearded, everybody.